Hi, the annoyed one here, and today is the day where I start a whole new video series on my channel, where I go over the weapons that Mortal has to offer and tell you most of the things you need to know while using that weapon. And since we already have a mole guide, today we're covering a knockoff mole, the Evening Star. Now, just because I call it that doesn't mean it's a bad weapon. The Evening Star is a very solid weapon that has everything you need. Oh, and one more thing before we begin. Only 30% of you guys watching my videos are actually subscribed, so check if you're sub. If not, subscribe. It's free and it helps me a lot. Now back to the video. Evening Star has decent range. It can combo, which is a very good thing. It will one-shot headshot anything up to light helmet, medium and higher it's a 2-hit kill, so still pretty good. For body hits you will 2-hit kill any type of armor, but for the legs it's very similar to headshots, so you 2-hit kill anything up to light armor. And you will need 3 hits for medium and heavy armor. And now the stabs. Evening Star stabs are good. I find myself using them often as something to gain more space. Stabs have pretty decent damage, and going for one swing and trying to finish it off with a stab to the head works pretty well. And now the alternative mode. Swings are pretty much the same if it comes to the damage, but your attacks go slightly faster. In exchange for the range, obviously. But what's interesting in the alt mode, the stabs become more powerful. So you could switch in between modes for some deadly swing and stab combo, but nobody does that. That about covers everything you need to know about the stats, now let's talk about tips for the gameplay. Let's talk about casual game modes first, that includes Frontline, Invasion, Brawl, Horde and stuff like that. Evening Star has really good damage, can crunch the naked, default archers and any flexing person that runs around the battlefield without a helmet. Who does that, right? Thanks to Evening Star's ability to combo and being able to switch into alt mode, it's good on both open and tight spaces. If you find yourself fighting in some tight spot, just switch to the alt mode. This is the best way to stop hitting the stupid walls surrounding you. I never really had any problems with Evening Star's stamina game, so you should be fine as well. In Horde, Evening Star works pretty well, it's one of my favorite if not my favorite weapon for that mode, and it's relatively cheap. Ok, now let's talk about duels, because this is where our knockoff mold really shines. Before we talk about anything, we need to know what axles and drags are. If you already know that, just keep watching. If you don't, axles makes sword go fast and drags makes sword go slow. Need further explanation? Search for it on YouTube, there's a bunch of guides on that already. So in addition to Evening Star's ability to combo, good stamina game, decent range and good stabs, it has both crazy fast axles and very long drags. Evening Star is the wet dream of a person with a foot fetish, because if you'll be using that weapon, you're going to find yourself inspecting your opponent's feet very closely. Why? Overhead axles are cracked, and your opponent's head will be cracked as well when you master them. And combine those with a lunge, and people will lose their will to live. Well, quite literally, because they won't be able to react. What is this lunge I'm talking about? Lunge is yet another mechanic that the game doesn't tell you about. To perform a lunge, you need to sprint while holding W and jump at the start of release of the weapon, which will cause you to swiftly jump forward, making your weapon hit your opponent at a very fast speed if combined with a well-performed axle. But it takes time to master the timing window. For Evening Star it's kinda hard and I recommend you practice it. Oh, and I should probably mention before that I'm going to cover the weapons in the way I use them, so feel free to tell me in the comments how you like using it. With that out of the way, I limit my Evening Star gameplay to stabs, horizontal and overhead swings, I rarely use underhands because I'm a filthy 240 player and it's uncomfortable for me to use them. But that doesn't matter because Evening Star horizontal drags are broken. What I like to do is start a horizontal swing and drag away while slowly turning my vision to the floor. Now, you see what I mean about the foot fetish part, right? Doing it this way makes it harder to read, and the drags you can pull off this way are just crazy. Overhead drags are good as well, although I miss a lot of those with my Evening Star, but that's just my problem. What are you aiming at? What are you aiming at? And you can also do some fancy drags with it if you want. My favorite is a half scaf to SX, and it looks something like this. The thing you need to remember about Evening Star is that you don't have infinite range, so you want to stay relatively close to your opponent. Alright, enough theory, now let's get into the gameplay.
First, let's see how it feels to play against somebody who knows how to actually use the Evening Star better than me. And now my POV of using the knockoff mole. Let me show you something that a lot of people get caught on. A very simple drag and axle combo. First you do a big drag and if it lands, you axle. Very simple and very effective. Oh, and there's one more secret that the ones that made it this far into the video get to know. If you find yourself getting your ass kicked, and you're tired of it. Your asshole feels tired of it as well. Don't worry, I have a solution for you. Just open console and type that bad boy in. It takes a while to get used to the shaky camera, but it really helps with hitting big tracks. You could crank that bad boy up to a whopping value of 1, but we don't do that here. We came here to swing swords and heavy metal sticks, not to get motion sick. But if you're into that, go ahead. And now you get a boost to skill. Easy. Now is the part where I shut up and let you watch how deadly Evening Star is. So, yeah, easy to say that Evening Star is a S tier weapon, it's also very beginner friendly because if you can't drag or axel, just fain spam your opponent and hit him twice to kill. And the most important part, we have to rate how crunchy the Evening Star is. Evening Star gets 4 out of 5 moles in our crunch scale. That's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.